after high school, I don't know what would have become of me if other things did not happen later on because I was not going to be getting any help from from my guardians. Um, that was very clear. And so it took me a while to then figure out my own path and how to get to a point of educating myself. So um, when I started working, I worked in the restaurant business, which was people, people everywhere, right? And that was easy most of the time because being an African, having a little bit of an accent almost puts you in a different bracket than being Black American from America. And so um, I did experience some, some racism actually in the restaurant business. And the most clear one that I experienced was this gentleman. He was an older white gentleman. He came into the restaurant and he, from my understanding, he had a history of having done this before. He came in and I went to serve him. There was no one around really. It was kind of an empty uh, time. So I went in and tried to introduce myself immediately. He wanted nothing to do with me. He just lost it. You know, he just didn't want to interact. He, I don't even know what he said. He, he made a lot of noise. And so I, I went and got a manager and said, I thought, I don't think this gentleman wants me to, to serve him. And from a later conversation, uh, he, I was told that he doesn't want any woman or any gay man to serve him. He just wants a white man. He doesn't want a woman. If you're black, I'm sure it's worse. And so uh, that was my most clear experience in the restaurant business at that time with um, racism. I never really internalized that one either. I've never forgotten it, but not to the extent of that first rejection in high school. That one didn't really matter to me that much, but that rejection in high school has stayed with me. <laughs>